test fit of the manifold is on. Uh, we'll need to get a couple shorter bolts. I got the transmission and everything looks to be, um, you know, up and ready to go. And we've got the CRV inside. So I got the Hasport mount back there on the back. I went ahead and did a, you know, just a aftermarket new mount on the side. So that one was blown out. And the rear mount on this one was actually blown out. It just fell right out. Um, so sad days. We got a new mount for the driver's side. However, it wasn't the right style. This one wasn't all beat up. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that one in there for now, just cause of time. So I need to do the radiator. So we're doing a half size radiator because of the manifold and keeping AC and everything. So the, as you see, it has the little tabs down there for the solid or the full length radiator. We'll go ahead and get that uh, put in, measured up, mocked up, and then weld in a new little deal there. Waiting for, um, well, not waiting for, we just, uh, Joe's going to bring his welder back since he is the weld master. I do not know what I'm doing when it comes to welding. And we'll go ahead and bring the engine up from the bottom, drop the car on top of it. I did get a new fuel filter, so we'll get that swapped out as well. And then I need to find a spot to mount the Aeromotive uh, fuel pressure regulator. So I'll probably put that back there on the firewall, and then that way I can measure my distance for the length that I need. And then what else do we got? I think that's it, man. I'm just getting super excited. It's getting close to being done and that makes me happy. So once I, uh, oh, so totally forgot to tell you, the distributor is different uh, as far as the plug is concerned on the CRV to the Integra style. So with that being said, we had to remove the wire harness off the uh, motor and then we're going to use the wire harness from the CRV side of it and that then made it to where the distributor didn't plug in so got that swapped over replaced the o-ring so it wasn't leaking like a sieve uh, replaced the thermostat gasket as well as the thermostat because that guy was leaking um, it got pinched and just didn't make a good seal the first time it was installed I guess so I'm glad we got that done so got the uh, drain lines, I need to go and get the AN fittings. So there's the return and then installed the Mishimoto uh, sandwich plate. So got the AN fitting for the oil feed line. And then I should have brought the turbo down. That would have been fun to be able to see what it looked like with that guy. So stay tuned.